What's up, guys? Welcome to today's video. I am super excited to have a special guest, Bradley Sutton from Helium 10. As you guys know, he's been on the channel before, and we are uh, just honored that he came back and he has some super valuable insights for keyword research, listing optimization, that he's going to dive into greater detail about those topics. Um, and, and kind of first and foremost, I kind of want to talk a little bit about uh, with Bradley about the Helium 10 Sell and Scale Summit event. We just got back from Vegas, um, what, a couple of days ago, and we yep. were both talking about how we're just like, we're dead. Um, so <laughs> what, 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 were, what was your thoughts? Obviously, it was the first event. I thought it was amazing, but I kind of want to hear um, your thoughts. Yeah, I mean, I had high expectations, but then this one even blew my expectations. You know, I love traveling. I love going to Amazon events, you know, not just Helium 10 events. I mean, the majority of the events I have been going to have nothing to do with Helium 10. Uh, I just love going to conferences and stuff. And, and this is probably the best conference out of any I've been to. And not even, I mean, even outside of the Amazon world uh, to, to be able to, you know, see Nelly in concert and meet a whole bunch of people I haven't met and share the stage with Gary V and, and just have a, tons of breakout sessions. And it was just like A to Z. It was just really good times. I was honestly shocked because I didn't really know kind of what to expect going into it. But when I went there, I was like, they went all out and right. ev like literally everything. And I was like, this is like next level. Um, so I was so like, when I, when I got there, I was like, man, this is amazing. Like, this is like, I can't wait to come back next year. So if you guys didn't make it out this year, I'm excited. Um, hopefully we get some announcements here. I, I don't know how soon, but um, hopefully they throw another one because yep. it was amazing. And the Gary V um, experience was awesome. So um, yeah, I'm super excited. I'm still a little fired up from the conference. So let's dive into um, some keyword research, listing optimization strategies um, that I know that you're going to um, kind of take us through um, some, some new cool things that you're doing. Yeah. So I, I'm going to share some stuff with, you know, I, I know a lot of your audience are already healing pen members. And so there's a few things I want to show you guys that are, are kind of new ish. And uh, some of them are only available for like the diamond members. So uh, if you guys haven't been a diamond member, you know, it's great to, you know, try and just upgrade for a month, try some of this stuff out and see, see if it's for you, but especially on the listing comparison side, I wanted to show a couple of features because I think sometimes uh, as Amazon sellers, we get so focused on, on our own listing, you know, that, that we don't, we don't see what the competition is doing. So I'm actually going to start this on Amazon and let's just uh, give me a niche. Give me a keyword to search where, you know, like collagen peptides, coffin shelf, just so, like something random uh, like that. Um, I, I kind of use this as um, an example at the Helium 10 conference. Okay. Look up uh, it, it's uh, disposable cameras for weddings. Disposable camera. By the way, th this is, I, I said, I'm going to be showing some stuff for, or diamond members, but, but this year that just happened right now, th this is for anybody, anybody who's oh, got yep. the helium 10 Chrome extension. We have this kind of like auto complete feature where it shows uh longer tail keywords based on what I'm entering here. So disposable camera for, and then probably you know, look at that wedding is right here. So, so, so wedding is, is uh, showing up right here. So let's go ahead and hit that disposable camera for wedding. Oh, wow. I didn't even know there was a such thing as this. And, and for those that weren't at the Helium 10 conference, the reason that I throw this out, my sister-in-law sister -in just got married and they had these cameras on every single table, um, like with the centerpieces. And I picked it up and I was literally looking at it for like, like 10 minutes. I was like, oh my gosh, I've never seen this. Um, and then sure enough, I come home and I, I, I did a little bit of research on it. Nothing like super crazy, but I was like, man, this is like kind of a cool, um, hopefully like I'm not screwing up any opportunity for anybody, but, um, <laughs> this is, I, I thought it was very interesting. So, yep. I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm just like picking, um, just some random ones and I'm actually going to run it in listing analyzer. All right. So, so this is, um, I think something that most people don't use that often, you know, most, you know, most go-to tool is, is probably Cerebro and rightfully so. Um, and then we, we might use Magnet, but list analyzer, we've added a lot of things to listing analyzer. So I'm going to show you the benefits that you can do by just looking into a niche. And I, I obviously don't sell disposable cameras yet. So this is not necessarily about, oh, I'm already selling in this niche. Let me go take a look at it. You could do this at the product research uh, level as well. And so what I did is I just went here in x-ray and I picked some of the top sellers here based on x-ray. 
And then I hit, you know, just in case you guys didn't see it, I hit this button, run listing analyzer. If I would have hit run Cerebro, it would have shown me all the, um, all the keywords that they're ranking for, but that's not what I'm looking for here. So this is showing the sales estimate for the main product that I entered in. And I could see the category and subcategory BSR history. That's something new, newer, you know, like we've always had the, the regular, you know, like electronics or health and household category or something like that, but we never had the sub one. So like you can actually see the sub BSR history in the category of what is a single use cameras. Yes, all right. Yeah. Um, right here, I can just see tons of comparison, like how they're doing on reviews and, and what's the price history where the sellers are from. You know, I see one's from USA or two from USA, two from China, one from Hong Kong. And then I love looking at this right here the age of the listings. So I can see that there's a couple of them that, that are, you know, less than a year old. Right. So this is a fairly newer niche. Um, there's two of them. They only have two images in their <laughs> listing. So it's like, I love seeing that, you know, like these guys don't even know what they're doing. They only got two, uh, two images. Um, top 10 keywords is I think I, uh, I think is a metric that people uh, sleep on. It's like, how many keywords are these guys dominating on? And you could see that it goes anywhere from 12 only to 86. But then more importantly is what's the reach of those keywords that they're in the top 10 for, if they all had like 10 search volume, like who really cares, you know, but look at this, this guy has a reach of 180,000 searches a month where he's in the top 10 on keywords. So let's just say that these were, you know, I, uh, I didn't really look, but let's just say that these were the top, top people in a niche I'm looking at. I would love to see something like this. We're sure there, there's there's a couple guys dominating, but when one of the top people, you know, only has twelve top twelve, uh, you know, top ten keywords, and another one only has like eleven thousand search volume, to me, there's plenty of opportunity just by looking at this, where where I'm like, hey, I might be able to compete with that. Did you, have you ever even seen this function that no, I'm showing you here? Or? I'm honestly stoked for myself and for the audience because every time I bring you on, there's always some little cool little way of looking at things. Um, and yeah, just what you're breaking down, like I can see how valuable that can be. And again, it's with a click of a button, you have access to so much. And it's, I, I tell people like, hey, software tools are all great but if you don't know how to use them and actually look at it, then it does you no good. So that's obviously why I'm stoked to have you here because just looking at those little tiny little details can make all the difference. Um, so I, yep. yeah, I love everything that you're talking about here. And then at the keyword level, some of the top keywords, I, I can kind of see where people are ranking for um, and who, you know, like, like, like this, this competitor right here, some of these keywords, they're not even ranking at all on some of the main keywords in this niche. But here, here is something that's only for a lot of this stuff. Anybody can see. But for diamond members, like if I were to actually go into this and be like, you know what, I'm going to sell this. Let me see what kind of like niche themes are going on. I just hit one button called media comparison. Wow. And I see <laughs> all the layouts of all of the images from these listings all here. So I could see, well, first of all, these two people must be the same seller, obviously, because they're using the same image. Oh, yeah. But, a six pack and a 12 pack. It looks yeah, like. Yeah. They, they must not mm -hmm. have a variation listing uh, of each other or else one, one of the ones I picked must have been a sponsored ad. Or, or something like that. But then I could see like, kind of like, is there something that multiple sellers are doing? Here's that one that only had two images. Two images, right? yep. <laughs> Terrible. And, and, and they're bad images too. <laughs> Terrible images, yep, yep. But you could see that um, this one, this one, like instantly, without going to these listings, I can see that everybody, except this terrible guy, is doing like, uh, you know, to show the the size of it, you know? So like, obviously, you know, people must be interested. They must have some data that, where people are saying, hey, we really want to see what the size of this camera is. Is it, is it handheld? There's pictures of people in a wedding for all of these. Every single one of these has pictures of wedding. So it's like, hey, I, I had probably better do that for me. But this is great to like, when you give your photographer or your designer, you know, like some, some, some instruction on what to do as far as how you want them to make your images. Like if you're going to make a new listing, you can just like print this off. There's like a button here as a PDF and then give it to them and say, hey, you know, here's what's working for the competitors in this space. How can we improve, you know, on this without completely trying to, you know, reinvent the wheel? So like, hey, we do need to have one of these. We do need to have a lifestyle that, you know, something similar to give people an idea, but let's just take it to another, uh, another level. Like in the old days, 
I used to tell people to do this. I, I would tell people, I've been telling people about this ever since I heard about this technique from, from uh, Tomer uh, four years ago. But the way that I would tell people is like, you got to go into each listing, copy every image, and then put it into like a Google slide or, or a, a PowerPoint. And then like, you know, give it to somebody like, nope, I just, hit, I just hit one button. So you didn't know about this one either? Nope. This function? I, I did not know about that one. Sweet. All right. Let me uh, go back now. And I'm going to run it as if I would run to Cerebro. So I can, I, I can actually do that directly from here. I'll say, see the full list of keywords in Cerebro. And let me show you something else, guys, that, that's kind of new on the keyword research side for those who um, have a diamond account um, or higher. And this is the, the influx of brand analytics inside of Helium 10. Now, on your own, Trevin, have you been using, do you, do you look at the brand analytics inside of Seller Central at all whenever you're doing yes. research? I, I have been looking at it a lot more lately and, and diving. There's, there's so much information there. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's obviously really valuable and it's coming directly from the source. So it's, yep. it's, it's great information. So a couple of things here. Now you're in three row. If you're a diamond member, you're going to see a couple new columns that nobody else has, like the estimated number of, of keyword sales. And now this is important because not everything, not everything is a correspondent. Like I can't just put some, some ratio of like, if it has this much search volume, well, let me move this over here. By the way, I don't know if you knew you can do that. Uh, like, I didn't know that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> See, we're learning lots of <laughs> big and small stuff today. But, you know, like, look at this 6,000 sale or 6,000 estimated sales, 5,000, 3,000. 3, but then look here, the, the, this one is 60,000 search volume. This is 60,000 search volume, but one only gets about 670 estimated sales. And it makes sense because, you know, it's a Polaroid. People are, are probably not, looking to buy something that has, but if they say Polaroid camera, they're probably more willing, like they probably know what they're, what, what, what they're going to get. And then you, you go down here and then it's like really cool to see once the number gets big compared to like, look at this 35 millimeter film color, almost one in 10 searches results in a sale. But if you were to compare it to like up here, uh, this is like one in like one in, I don't know, uh, 50 searches. Uh, is better, better or one in 40 me. searches, yeah. you know, <laughs> is a, um, uh, it, you know, results in the sale. So keyword sales is a newest function, but I like this. This is the brand analytics, total click share. And this is coming directly from brand analytics inside of Amazon, where it shows you the top three products that were clicked after the search of any given keyword. And what we're doing is we're showing you, Hey, those top three clicks, if you add it together, what percentage of all of the clicks that happen after that does it have? Like, for example, 35 millimeter film, the top three clicked, it makes up 50% of all the clicks. Now you compare that to say, um, let me find a one that's like a smaller number, like 37%. So that means there's 63% is kind of like open, you know, like the rest of page one is getting it. Some of these you might see is like 80%, meaning three products are dominating everything. Now, if I wanted to go in and, and let me actually find uh, one of the disposable camera, I can click this, zoom out a little bit. Whoops, disposable camera, let me see. And I can see the history of which were the top three clicked products in any given month or any given week. It'll tell me, which ones, like for example, the week of August 1st or the month of August 1st to August 31st, I could see here that the most clicked ASIN was this Fuji film. It had 35% of the clicks. It is just dominating this keyword. Number two clicked only has 8%. It was a Kodak. And number three was another Kodak. And then and this that makes sense. I mean, those are big brand, yep, yep. brand names. Um, and, and, and that's why this information is so valuable because you can figure out exactly who's, who has the market share. And if you want to go and compete against these sellers. Yep, absolutely. And another thing that I like about this is, is I can actually see here the, the, now this is something nobody has ever been able to do. Like you, you could do, you can find the click share and conversion share inside of of brand analytics, you can see things like keyword tracker in Helium 10 or in Cerebro, but we're showing you the whole rank average. So this is July, and this is the click share and conversion share of this product, but we're actually showing you the average organic rank. One thing that jumps off, none of these big players, not one of them is running any sponsored ads. 
thought there's some insight right there. Like, like, like Kodak and Fuji, they, they must think, oh, we're too big. Like we're not going to run <laughs> sponsored ads. So right off the bat, I know that sponsored ads are open here. I could probably beat them in sponsored ads. But look at this. This product here only on average was number 16 on page one. Yet despite that, it was the top three most clicked. So, so this is interesting. Sometimes you think, oh, to have any chance, I'm going to pour in as much money as I can because on this keyword, if I'm not one of the first four or five listings on page one, I'm not going to get any play. No, look at this. This guy's the number three click in the whole entire page and his average rank is only you know 16. Here's another one that was only 14. So this kind of shows you on some keywords, you might not necessarily need to be you know, the, you know, position one, two, or three in order to have a lot of play. So this is just some of the new features for listing optimization and doing like product research, doing keyword research that are new to Helium 10. Most of what I showed is for Diamond members. Um, so if you guys are Diamond members, make sure to hop in and, and take a look at this stuff. I know you have a Diamond account mm -hmm. yourself, so you should definitely start taking advantage of this stuff. Yeah, no, that's honestly amazing. And this is why I always beg Bradley to get on because there's always something new that I always learn. And that's one thing that people don't quite understand with this whole Amazon journey is they think that um, me and you know everything or we we have a solution for every problem. It's like, no, we learn nope. stuff every single day. And at like the, nope. the conference this last week, there was new information every single day that I'm learning. And that's, what's kind of cool with the Amazon process. You don't learn everything at once. And the reason I mentioned this is because there's so many new Amazon sellers that feel like they need to know everything before they start. And it's like, guys, I still don't know everything. I'm still learning something every right. single day. So right. um, yeah, I appreciate you coming on um, real quick. The diamond plan um, what are some other additional features? Um, and, and I don't know if you know off the top of your head between the platinum and diamond, I know you get, um, helium 10 ads, uh, atomic, yep. um, what other additional benefits do you get? Um, because I think it is worth that jump, but For what sure. are additional features? Yeah. The main standalone tool that you get is atomic, which, you know, allows you to run your, your PPC. A lot of the other features is just like more features of the existing tool. Like the, what I showed you guys in listing analyzer. Like half the stuff I showed you is only going to be available if you have diamond. You know, if you don't, you that the button is either grayed out or 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 the the like some of the columns are grayed out. You get more keywords to track and keyword tracker. You get a uh, unlimited number of ASINs you can use for our inventory management. A lot of people don't even realize Helium 10 has full inventory management uh, software. Uh, you're going to have full access to that. You know, uh, you get more markets in market tracker. You actually can have sub accounts. You know, once you get up to a certain level. You're probably going to start, you know, hiring out. Like, like, do you have any VAs that help you or employees that help you with your yeah, Amazon I, business? I, yep, I do. Yeah, so I have, I have a few VAs doing miscellaneous stuff. Maybe like you want them only doing product research or keyword research, but you don't want them messing with your your ads or something. So it's kind of like when you have a Seller Central account, like you don't give your your VAs full admin access to your Seller Central account, right? Did you create like a sub account in Seller yep. Central for them? Correct. So you send a user invite and you can do the same thing on Helium 10. You can do the same thing on Helium Look at that. 10. You Learn something, something new again. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I didn't realize you didn't know it, but yeah, it's like, Hey, no, no, I'm going to just activate Cerebro and, and inventory management for you. You know, you can do that when you have a diamond um, account. So there's just tons of stuff. Plus you have full access to all of our Walmart tools with a diamond plan. You don't have access to the Walmart tools if you're on the platinum plan, but you can start using Cerebro and Magnet and Chrome extension for walmart.com. Well, awesome. Guys, it sounds like you guys need to go get the diamond plan. So I'll put the link down below. Um, go check it out. Um, I appreciate Bradley coming on. Um, and if you guys show enough love um, in the comments, um, then maybe we can have him back. Um, I know Helium 10 is just continuing to um, innovate and come out with new and new and more things um, basically every single, seems like, day. Um, so Bradley, I appreciate it. It was super fun hanging out with you in Vegas. Um, and I'm excited for uh, what's to come. So thanks again. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks for having me.